Uh, in keratoconus, uh, it's a pathology uh, of the cornea uh, in which the cornea becomes a little loose and uh, out of shape and it hangs uh, out of its body and uh, the diagnosis of keratoconus is made uh, based upon three things. Number one is some clinical signs that uh, the patient may present with and uh, uh, there is progressive astigmatism and uh, it is confirmed on corneal imaging studies. So all patients should be counseled on avoidance of eye rubbing and nocturnal eye pressure because these patients have uh, some eye pressure on their eyes when they lie down in a supine position at night. So you need to tell them that do not rub your eyes, it will make the condition worse, all right? Uh, and you also screen patients for sleep apnea because sleep apnea is quite common uh, in this population. Uh, also, uh, now I want to uh, get into the uh, different stages of the disease and uh, appropriate management of each of them. Uh, there are uh, relatively four conditions, the four stages. And uh, there is some uh, preclinical stages or early stages. Then we have some intermediate stages, and uh, it, uh, then some advanced. And lastly, we have acute high drops, which is a condition in which you just do a palliative uh, therapy or a palliative approach is required. First of all, in the preclinical or the early stages, in this condition. Uh, you may not find any uh, clinical findings. The patient is usually uh, asymptomatic except for there is an evidence of ectasia when you image the uh, cornea or there can be a uh, variable astigmatism. Uh, the patient may feel uh, some disturbances in the vision, for example, polyopia, right, or diplopia, right? Uh, and there is quite difficult to achieve the vision of 20 by 20 uh, in this stage though it happens but it is quite uncommon so there is some visual acuity problems uh, uh, what do you treat it with uh, very simple you give him uh, spectacles or either contact lenses if he is able to cooperate or uh, uh, live with that uh, that is usually enough but if still there is a progression then you can do one more thing you can do cross-linking corneal cross-linking uh, this slows progression to and also helps uh, flatten cornea but remember that this matter is not FDA approved so this all is upon your clinical judgment and you need to be very aware of the uh, uh, circumstantial uh, advantages or disadvantages. Uh, the second stage is intermediate stage. In this stage, ectasia is more pronounced and also the apex is more steep. It is more flattened, right? Uh, and uh, there are possible early scarring or haze even. So there are more visual problems. And uh, Spectacles usually do not work in this stage, so spectacles are gone. Now, you are uh, remain with lenses, of course, because spectacle correction often is unsatisfactory, so offer astigmatism correcting contact lenses. There are three types, soft, rigid, and hybrid. Either of these will work. But if still, if it is unsatisfactory, do intrastromal ring segments, place them, plant them, this may improve vision uh, and contact lens uh, tolerance as well. Then you have the advanced stage in which there is prominent coning or scarring. The coning comes in this advanced stage in which there is also poor contact lens and spec corrected visual acuity, right? You cannot even rely on just lenses. You need to uh, switch to either rigid type or there are some uh, really special uh, lens fittings which are available. You need to switch over to them uh, to uh, treat this stage. And still there are patients who have still unsatisfactory findings, uh, unsatisfactory vision, and you need to do a transplant, a corneal transplant. Either uh, you have three matters for them. 
Uh, number one is a deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty. Number two is penetrating keratoplasty. And number uh, number three is uh, uh, number three is interlace enabled uh, keratoplasty. All right. Then there's a final stage of acute high rots in which you can do much. You can do much. You just a symptomatic approach to it. What happens is that there is a vision loss that is sudden and it is painful, extremely painful with a red eye, right? There is watering and there is photophobia. So it mimics a lot uh, uh, the, some features of glaucoma and some features of uh, uveitis, right? And to discharge some uh, features of acute conjunctivitis, viral conjunctivitis, right? So there are different things. Uh, but you can't differentiate between all of them because the, 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 the sign and symptoms are not uh, just uh, uh, resembling to uh, any one of the disease. For example, a sudden vision loss does not occur in conjunctivitis, right? And uh, uh, photophobia uh, uh, is, does not uh, usually uh, occurs in uh, conjunctivitis. Likewise, uh, watering does not occur in uveitis, so you can differentiate. And what happens, the reason is that there is a break in the fourth layer of the cornea that is a decimase membrane, right? That is the reason. And what do you give? You do give cycloplegics, you give hypertonic saline, and the last thing you can do is either do patching or bandaging the contact lens for comfort until resolution occurs spontaneously. That is all about keratoconus management and staging. Please subscribe to the channel, that will help me a lot signing off.